mean, this is realistically almost like two minutes. Oh, look at this. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. It's such a funny car, isn't it? Yeah, eat lads. Morning guys and girls, we've had a uh, morning gym session, so we are ready for the day. Now, I'm picking the camera up here. We're finally doing some performance things on the Clio. I know it's been so long, but I'll get into that soon. But, while I remembered, I need to pick up the camera and we need to do an important pre-test, an important baseline figure. The baseline figure is we're gonna rev the car. This is the baseline figure, you ready? That's the baseline figure, and that'll all come into sense pretty soon. So, so, so we just had the funny experience <laughs> ever when we was outside the... Uh... Why is our insurance so high when people like that on the road? <laughs> so, we see like three cars all over the line, so I thought, you know what, fuck this, I'm going to squeeze in here. Just in case that they shit themselves. Anyway, there's one old couple which come out, and it's like, oh, is that yours? Ah, right. Good parking, and anyway, it wasn't their fault. It was a guy next to him, so he went inside, come out. As soon as come out, he's there. <laughs> he's like, "Is there a problem?" <laughs> yeah. what, uh, what did he say? He goes, "Is there a problem?" No, and he goes, "Is everything all right?" So I goes, "Yeah, except your parking." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Ah, it's you, is it?" <laughs> and then there's a woman next to us who gets in her car, or as well, shit parked, and then she pulls a car in with us, looks over her shoulder. <laughs> It just starts going forward, which she doesn't realise, and she just hits the curb, and me and Jesse just like... Oh. Here is the box. Right. Yes. There. Oh no. <laughs> Should I like my double, my double subwoofers, I'm thinking. <laughs> Install that on there. It's actually Courtney's, it's not mine in my defence. <laughs> I did say it was Courtney's, but did she want the pink one? Yes, yeah, she did too. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting, yeah, Jesse. Horrible. Isn't it? <laughs> right, so yes, we're starting doing some performance things eventually. I know it's took so long. It's been taking so long because A, I don't really have, I've not really had that much time, I've had too much going on. B, sourcing parts, so it leads me on to the next thing. We're actually teaming up with like a Clio braking company. Yeah, so. They would give us some big decals, mate. Oh, sick. And they're not going on just yet. So this is actually the company, JMRS. Uh, they're like a, uh, <clears throat> they're from down south, and he's been going a very long time, to be fair. So what he does is he, he specialises in, like, breaking, like, track Clio's and stuff. So obviously you're getting, like, tracked out Clio's and then break all the parts and things like that. So we're teaming up with them, uh, and this is their their own actual intake, with the, which they've just released so he's obviously sent me one cool. i'm gonna yeah it is so i'm gonna get out of the way i, I have opened the package well, yesterday go, it's gonna be a blue it's gonna be a blue uh sort of cool yeah so got the logo stitched on so we've got that and we've got many 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 i love that cheers many many plans with these so obviously we're going to be getting loads of parts on jmrs and then i've just went and bought a ram air filter the perfect size for this intake but when we've got the track suspension which is coming soon I've not told you that, but it's coming. So this is going to be like a JMRS, I hate the word sponsored, I hate that word, but kind of thing. So obviously they're going to be sorting me out with all the good parts and the good stuff. Supported. Supported. So if you are too into your Clio's, and they mainly specify like Mark II's, but they've only just started getting into the social media marketing thing and all like that. So they've actually only just set up an Instagram today. Terrible, I know. I've been speaking to James. Terrible today. But... Uh, I'm gonna please go over and follow their Instagram. They've just started up an Instagram page, and that's their Facebook group as well. So it's kind of like a community slash car parts page. So go follow over to the Facebook page if you do want any parts from them. Give them a message, and they'll sort you out directly. Some of the parts they're amazing. Some of the cars have got amazing. They've got like Clio V6s and like things like that in their sort of you know ownership kind of thing. So they're pretty mad to be fair. Right, let's get it on then. Apparently, this is like one of the loudest combinations of intakes you can get for the Clio. Uh, so I'm intrigued to see what it sounds like. Obviously, Ram Air filters are renowned for having so much noise just because there's nothing to them. Uh, but no, let's get it on. I'm intrigued to see. It's been a while since I've done a little sort of little videos like this, but right, let's go. Let's crack open the bonnet and see what it is. I mean, this is realistically almost take two minutes. Yeah. Realistically. Oh. oh, look at that standard engine bay. <laughs> I tell you what, for the money you pay for this, it's bloody well nice shape, isn't Mate, it? It's it's clean, isn't it? It's never, it's never been modified. It's actually, well, we say clean, like it needs a clean, but like it's, it's clean as in, touched. 
not battered, not... It's great, mate. The airbox is apparently huge in these. So when you do like little mods like intakes and stuff, James was saying that literally the biggest thing you can do to these is they will free up their own sort of power. Whereas you've got a lot of turbo cars and that if you bang on an intake, you're not really doing much. Uh, but James was saying with these, they free up so much of their own power so easily. He was saying that the intake, and the main thing that James was saying is get a 4 to 1 manifold. And the 182s, they have a 421 4 to 1 manifold, where these just go 4 straight to 1. Uh, so he was saying if you get the 4 to 1 manifold, it's one of the biggest things you can do for the car. But you've got to drop the subframe, James was saying, so that's a little bit of a pain in the ass. I'm not really arse about trap times, I'm not really arse, I mean I've come from turbo cars which you can free up tons of power very easily so I'm probably not even going to notice anything like this to be fair, so I'm not really that arse about going for fucking numbers in this. Yeah. As long as it feels cool and sounds You want to have good. fun, you don't exactly. want to have so power. I'll probably leave the 4 to one manifold because yeah I might get an extra 5 horsepower or whatever but to me it's, you know, you're not even going to feel that so I, you, you can just take the seats out and it'll make the same amount of difference, so right let's go, let's, let's just go lad, we need a 7mm or a flathead. 7mm or a flathead, we've got options. Hopefully the box will just go bada bing bada boom straight out, but it is a Renault. I was going to say, it is French, and it I can't say that because I've had one, uh, I've had a Peugeot. Renaults are not the easiest car to work on. Let's be fair. What, in, in this here? Yeah. Yeah. Compared to like your Evo and the Civic. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay, cool. Wait, there's two, wait, what? French cars are growing on me. <laughs> two intakes. So instead of it being... Oh, look, it, it, there's, there's two intakes. Wait, what? That's what I mean, there's an intake here which goes straight into That's the box. That's loose, isn't it? Like, can... Yeah, but only because I, I take oh. it there. You've got that one which goes in there, and then you've got that intake which goes in there. So it's got two intakes on the airbox. Mad stuff. That's that's pretty sick, to be fair. Well, there's no need for, for that. We can pull that off because there's absolutely no need for that. So that's just direct in the air to where we're not going, so that can fuck off. <laughs> Mate, that's so weird. The airbox got this, it needs to come all the way down where the airbox is. Isn't so it? is the the filters gonna sit in there? The filters yeah. go in there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's not that big. Oh, it's quite small actually. We'll, we'll figure out. You got a four and a half minute clip here, bro. Oh shit! You're gonna love it. Come on, you bastard! That's it, lad. And the filters gonna sit. Hold on, that's obviously. Uh, yeah, I know it's not on. Come on, don't, don't, don't let me down. This. Where does this piece Oh, there's oil in it. Look, your turbo's leak. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. NA life. <laughs> I, think, I think we're going to take... Right, have you got a, t like, have you got a 10 mil? Let's, I take, this, got let's a 10. take this negative off the battery. Hey, what? Oh, this is this is not a 10 mil. This is an 8 mil for some reason. Right, whole life. Boom. It's a tight one in here, lads. But it's good because it can be right near that air, the air intake down there, so... I'm gonna come down here to do the tricky old flathead screwdriver pry the silicone trick and to get this flathead underneath it and just uh, just work it over. There we go. Look at that. We're on. Thanks to the use. Actually, that fits perfect. Of Frankie the flathead. We're on. <laughs> that was really good. It does. It's be I think it's gonna be proper throaty, like. <laughs> I'll take this off as well. Ah, oh, you don't need them. Sorry, and we're gonna take this off. You don't need that. Just our Renault board out of the factory, lad. Mate, I just took that dirt off you. Weight reduction. Mate, this is probably the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. I'm not gonna lie. Who wants some? Mate, have a bite of that. With one of them. Oh, get it out. Oh, look at this. Oh! oh. <laughs> Mate, that's like... 400 horsepower, surely. Right, I think that just that's just pushed on, so just a little bit. Got my new bad boy thing. Yeah, bad boy too. Ah, well, we'll fit. Oh, <laughs> stuck. <laughs> the car must like me. Oh, oh. <laughs> right, this is exciting, man. We're in. Out with the old. Right, let's just start it up. In with the new, let's have a listen. <laughs> fucking bro, we're on our driveway. Give it a fucking blast. Proper sucks air, doesn't it? Where's my guy? Oh, there he is, look. Dick in, yeah. Prick. And we're contemplating putting the stickers on. I think it looks better on the window. Right, get the air dryer, get the squeegee. Sod it. 
So literally, the more sort of interaction JMRS can get off this video means that the more parts are going to give me for cheaper and they're going to be happier to sort my parts out quicker, which means way more videos on the Clio. So please go over to the Instagram and the Facebook and just join the group or give them a follow because that means that they'll have more faith in me and then they'll give me more shit. So show them some love because at the end of the day, this is free entertainment. Free entertainment. So do us a favor. All you got to do is just go over and click one follow on your phone and then you get way more videos. I, they've already sorted me out some track suspension which will be coming before June. So I've got a track day in June with Track Obsession. 3rd of June or 6th of June at Anglesey, not quite sure, but I'm going there and I will be going in the Clio. Uh, and we're gonna be the first time taking the, true on, the Clio on track. So I need that track suspension. So the track suspension we've got is it's gonna be uh, brand new Cup Shocks uh, and Cup Sport Springs, and obviously the uh, upgraded top mounts as well. Uh, and because a lot of guys are saying don't go coil overs in the clear, which is pointless, just get the cook sports springs and the cup shops way better. So that's coming soon. And then we need some new wheels as well. Not necessarily A for looks, but these are really thin tyres, so they're not going to be the best on track to be fair. But just please go and give them a follow on the Instagram and the Facebook page, like, because I really want to get this clear going good to be fair. I mean, obviously, as 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 you see in my last video, as we've got we are professional rappers yeah. now. So, we have. yeah. Well, that's good. good. And the sticker's blue. Yeah. To go with the. <laughs> Fucking that cool, like man. Well good. That really does look good. Doesn't it? it doesn't look chavy. That looks sick. Oh. <laughs> You're right. My G. Oh, right. <laughs> not another one. <laughs> I can't clean it on this driveway. The birds just poo on it as I'm cleaning it. Sick. I like it, mate. I feel like I'm 50 again, man. Hey, it's good, isn't it? Good little throwback. Works with this. We need to take this for a spin, mate. We haven't yeah, even no. actually heard it yet. Right, so we took out the sound deadening. Look at her, she's coming along, you know. She's actually coming along. <laughs> sound deadening's gone. It's gonna sound sick, lad. Right, let's go for a spin. <laughs> it does a bit, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Let's let's wait till it gets up in the revs. When uh, when the the variable valve timing comes in, let's try it first. It actually sounds like <laughs> does a bit, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's very growly. It sounds yeah. like a grizzly bear so, on the bonnet. Sounds like a civic, but a little bit quieter. Tamer. Look at the stickers, man. They we've built a beast. What have you done? Oh my it? god, it's, it does sound like VTEC. It sounds like VTEC. It comes on about just under five grand. It really does sound like VTEC. That's weird. Do it one more time. So we'll start at 4K. You can literally hear it. Yeah, so. There. There, yeah. <laughs> this car's nippy, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. It's such a funny car, isn't it, man? She's alive. Slowly coming alive. <laughs> where are we going? I don't know where we are, but if that ramp lifts up. Oh shit. I've been in a van that done that, you know. He let us out and then the guy put the ramp back up so the van lifted off the ground. Did it? Yeah, I was in Scotland. How the hell do we get out of this place? I think you generally have to go turn around because this is a business park. Automatic barrier? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> how are we? We just want to go back to the shop. Uh... Only bikes and uh Oh, okay. Uh, well, someone's I letting us like, through. I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this would be a sick place to come filming. No one will be down here. Yeah. Well, I can't see shit. 